How many times have you cheated on your diet? We've all done it. In this video, I'm going to share with you the secret to end cheating once and for all. So let me share with you a recent encounter I had with one of my clients. It was a beautiful young college girl. She was uh, coming to see me for some gastrointestinal things she had going on. And during our conversation, we're talking about, you know, her eating habits, of course, and she had been following paleo for a couple of years. So if you're not familiar with paleo, paleo is a grain-free, dairy-free, uh, bean-free even type of eating program. Very familiar with it. It's really great for helping people fix their gut function. And that was one of the problems this gal had. Uh, dairy and grains can certainly be hard on the digestive tract. So she was following this diet, she comes to me, some time has gone by, and she says to me, Lisa, I'm really afraid of cheating on this diet. I mean, I'm really afraid, like, well, I, is it really super bad if I have some rice? Or what about if I have a piece of bread? I mean, what will other paleo people think of me? And it really just stopped me in my tracks. This poor young girl was really trying to eat healthily and do the right thing. And it's almost as if she had created her diet into a religion where it was a sin if she had something outside of her program. And what happens when we cheat? We feel like crud, we feel like we can't do it, and then we wash it all up and say, forget it. And we don't feel good, so why would we keep doing things if we're not feeling good doing it? So my take and my advice here would be stop dieting. Stop going on a program and off a program. Maybe you're just eating better. You're eating well. Listen to your body. What horrible thing are you really doing if you have a food item that's not on your program? Does it make you a bad person? Of course not. So listen to your body. In this gal's particular case, her gut had gone through a lot of healing and I thought it was completely fine for her to have some rice from time to time. Listen to her body. If she tolerates it, great. If she wants to go there, she gets to drive the bus and she gets to decide what road she wants to go down. So let's kind of think about our food program. Whatever word you want to use it is not being on and off. If you're not on and off something, you're not cheating. Here's your TMWTD. You know, tell me what to do. Find your own way and your own path. There's lots of experts and lots of great nutrition information out there, but I don't want you being on a diet. Remember again, what does diet stand for? Done it endless times. So if you're not on a diet, you're ending cheating forever, you're eating well for life and living. Now, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel. And if you think it would help other people in your life, share the video. Until next time, Get busy embracing your tasty life.